So thank you very much again, uh, Dr. McMillan, for allowing me to perform this surgery today. Um, as a second year surgical resident, this is my second opportunity to perform a surgery, uh, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to expand my, my training and experience um, through this highly complex uh, procedure, and uh, I'm grateful again for the opportunity to do this. I'm sure you'll do a great job today. Thank you. And with that, Let's begin. At this time, I'm going to proceed with the injection. Oh, no. Oh. So during the process, when I got stuck, it was with a, a sharp needle. Um, and in the operating room, of course, we use these all the time. So I'm really surprised that there isn't another way to prevent these kinds of things from happening um, in an area where these, these kinds of events must take place fairly routinely. So I was trying to decide about whether or not I should contact somebody and, and report this um, incident. Dr. McMillan was right there and saw me um, get stuck with the needle and she didn't have any input about whether or not I should report. She just sort of acted like it didn't happen and that we should just continue on. I know from other people that have had this happen before that it can be a very time-consuming process and they just don't have the time for it or don't know where to go. Um, I'm also not sure whether it's going to stigmatize me among my colleagues. Uh, they'll think of me as the person who makes mistakes in the OR or uh, whether it'll impact me down the road or whether my department even wants to pay for whatever process follows uh, getting stuck by a needle in the OR or getting a Sharps injury. One of the things that I think concerns me the most about this, having now gone through this experience, is that we don't spend any time talking about how to handle these situations when they arise. Who do I report to? And is it anonymous? And what kind of follow-up steps are there after I get stuck? I just sort of feel confused and a little bit in the dark about where it goes from here. I heard about this thing called PEPLINE that's anonymous reporting. I think I'm going to call them and find out what to do. Calling Pepline, how can I help you? Hi, I had a needle stick injury and I would like to find out exactly what I need to do now. All right, well, let me walk you through that process. Thanks for calling. Thank you.